May I greet you, Bazalani, in the name of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. My name is Toby Zigalala. Um, I am a child of God, Bazalani, and I thank God for that. I am here to speak to the calibration number one, which is adorn your faith. Um, that we were given the opportunity to choose the cal calibration. And uh, I am glad that I chose this calibration. I was surprised by Maga's response when I chose the calibration. So uh, she was so excited and mentioned that, oh, this Toby, you are number, that's calibration number one. That threw me off my feet uh, because one, uh, I am a, f I, I, I have a challenge of being number one in anything. <laughs> so, and then Maga quickly calmed me down and said, there will be no need for you to be the first one. That really calmed me, Maga, and I thank you uh, and your, your, your organization for that. Uh, Bazalwane, Adorn Your Faith is a calibration that our pastor um, taught us about. Um, it was founded on the books of uh, 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 5 to 7, and also 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 10 to 11. Allow me to brush through the meaning of uh, the word adorn. It is to make something more beautiful or more attractive. Uh, those that live with me and that are privileged to be close to me will attest to the fact that when given an opportunity, I will go for something that is beautiful. When given a chance or time, I will make it more attractive. That is how this uh, calibration appealed to me in terms of providing feedback on what I had on it. I think I mentioned at some point then when, when I saw the calibrations um, as, as the pastor introduced uh, all of them, I quickly decided that I was going to have some favorites, but I was surprised as we went through all of them that it was difficult to have a single favorite. But I do want to say that uh, given such moments, I am glad that uh, I'm allowed the opportunity to, to, to say more on this one in particular. And then I also want to just uh, go through the meaning of faith Faith in the dictionary is the trust or the confidence that we have in something or a person. Um, but more imp importantly for us as Christian, um, our faith is uh, based on um, Hebrews 11 verse, verse 1 that says it is the substance of things that we hope for and also the evidence of things that are not seen. Um, Again, this verse speaks so much, especially the last part. Things speak so much to how we should adorn our faith when it says that it is also the evidence of the things that are not seen. That speaks to how then we should uh, adorn our faith, how we should make it more beautiful, how we should make it more attractive. Let's bring the evidence of these things that are not seen. Let's bring the evidence of what this faith is. Who then should um, adorn their faith? It is us, Bazalwan, the ambassadors of the he heavenly kingdom need to adorn their faith. Um, it is us, Bazalwan, that call ourselves the children of God. It is us, the, so the sources of spiritual insight in this uh, dark world that we live in. We are the ones that need to embody uh, our faith. We are the ones that need to continuously keep it well adorned, uh, continuously make it appealing to those that are, are amongst us and are looking at us. Um, uh, because we are heavenly brand holders, Bazalwani, we are heavenly promoters. We are here on earth to promote the kingdom of heaven. We represent that kingdom of heaven. Just like we are members of the evangelical church, uh, 
we represent that that is at the bottom there that says uh, we are proclaiming, confirming, and defending the gospel. It is the same with our faith. We need to adorn it. We need to show what it represents. We need to clearly display this brand that we hold. Um, going back to the verse um, uh, that was referenced on adorning of our faith, uh, 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 5 to 7, as I said, uh, Please allow me to read it quickly. It says that, um, but also for this reason, giving all diligence, add to your faith virtue, to virtue knowledge, to knowledge self-control, to self-control perseverance, to perseverance godliness, to, gold, to godliness brotherly kindness, um, and to brotherly kindness, love. For if these things are yours and abound, you will be neither barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Um, Bazalwane, I am not a preacher. The verses have a way of speaking to themselves. I am just going to regurgitate what I learned from this. The pastor went on as he spoke about this calibration to then tell us how we are to adorn our faith. He, say, he said we should be diligent all around. There were uh, scriptural references that were made to how we should be diligent. That was James 1 verse 27 uh, also James 2 verse 2 um, James 2 verse 17 and Philippians 2, verse 2 to 13. Um, please allow me to just quickly read James 1, verse 27. It says, pure and undefiled religion before God and the Father is this, to visit orphans widows in their, uh, and widows in their trouble um, and to keep oneself unspotted in this world. Uh, this verse spoke to me. In fact, I was, I was already challenged by God to, to, to perform a certain task in my neighborhood uh, with regards to visiting orphans and, and widows. And this was just a confirmation that this indeed is part of how I adorn my faith. And I pray God that helps me as I, I execute this. Um, but it, 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 the, the verse also goes on to say to keep oneself unspotted in, in, in this world. This reminded me of um, teachings that the pastor used to give us when I was uh, st uh, still in my youth. He used to emphasize on how we should guard our tongues, what we say, uh, and how we, we, we just uh, communicate even amongst ourselves. You know, when you are young, you like to pass jokes, you, 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 you have so much time to just be talking, but he would emphasize on how we should make sure that what we said was necessary, uh, how that which we say must be true, and how it must be building amongst ourselves. That set in my mind that whenever I have uh, conversations, light or uh, serious, the, whatever that is being said must be necessary, it must be true, and it must be given opportunity to construct. Um, this last part of the verse also spoke to me about how when, when things happen, I should act, how I should react, and how I should also interact. Um, this is very important for me. Sometimes I'm being called out for being too aware, uh, just generally. It's, it's because I'm a Christian, Bazalwan, and it's because I'm very concerned about my brand as a Christian and how I present myself. So to me, it's important how I act. It's important how I react, and it's also important how I interact. Um, the pastor also went on to say that to adorn our faith, we should add uh, beauty to our faith. People must envy our lives. 
he gave, he gave us uh, reference scriptures to that. It was First Peter chapter 3, verse 15. It was Ephesians 6, verse 1, and also Colossians uh, chapter 3, verse 18 to 19. I have said, Bazalan, in my introduction, that given an opportunity, I will choose what is beautiful. Uh, given time, I will make sure that it looks more beautiful. Also, to my faith, it is very, very important to me. I am also I'm inspired by people that are competitive. I tend to think that I am not a competitive person, but I have noticed that when it comes to my faith, I'm very, very competitive. When I see someone do something good, whether they are Christian or not, I am always inspired to do better for the kingdom of God. It is my contribution and my attempts and efforts towards adorning my faith. Um, the pastor also helped us see that we can adorn our faith but by making sure that we, we, we minimize to not fearing anything. He said, do not fear anything, including Satan and his demons. And he also gave us uh, scriptural references to this. Um, because of time, Mazarane, I'm not able to read them. And I got so much as I went to each of these scriptures then and also as I re-looked at uh, this calibration. The, the, the scriptural references that the pastor gave us was Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10, um, Psalms 56, verse 3 to 6, and also 1 John, verse 4 to 4. I once read when I was young about a man that was sleeping. It was a man of God, I think. I'm not sure if it's John L. Moody. Um, I tried to Google it, but I couldn't find the story because maybe I couldn't remember the exact words. But I remember what I read about this man was that um, he was tired, I think, from preaching or evangelizing. And when he got to his hotel, he went to sleep. Uh, as he was sleeping, he just heard something making some noise in the room. And, you know, tiredly, he woke, he, he, he just lifted his eyes, opened his eyes and watched. And he looked and he was like, oh, it's you, t Satan. I'm tired, you know. He went back to sleep. That's the kind of fear that we need to demonstrate in terms of how fearless we are of the devil. Um, it also reminded me of one of my favorite verses that say we must, uh, that is ch James chapter 4 verse 7 that says we must shun or flee the devil and the devil will flee from us. It's, it's my best defense, Bazalwan. It has helped me a lot. When I come across situations that I see clearly that this is the devil now that is before me, I always just tell myself that there is only one way with this one. It is to shun the devil. He will be the one that does the running. Um, and then why, Bazalone, must we adorn ourselves? Uh, we adorn our, uh, uh, why must we adorn our faith? We adorn our faith uh, because the adornment itself puts a stick or a, a label to our identity as Christians. So it is very, very important because we are still living on this earth. The pastor usually says that God could have chosen when he saves us to then take us away from this dark world, but he chose that we continue to live on this earth. Therefore, we must make sure that we are mindful that we are carrying a Christian identity. It must always be adorned because that identity is our identity our identifier. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to use the same word twice in a sentence, but I am obliged to. It gives us a reputation, Bazalwan. What do I mean by that reputation that it gives us um, beyond just the brand? It, 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 it speaks to how we are to do our things. It speaks to where we do our things. We, we cannot be found in places that a Christian should not be found. We, 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 it, it speaks to why we do the things that we do. Um, um, I go to a lot of places 
my pastor once said that, Babe, Babe Nyao once said that, when I say my pastor, I'm referring to Babe Nyao. <laughs> he once said that uh, in this world, there is nothing carnal. That, same, that made me think a lot about what he meant because I used to hear a lot of people saying, that is not Christian life, that is carnal. But my pastor said that in this world, there is nothing that is carnal. And um, every day it speaks to me um, in that Christianity is actually a lifestyle that we live in this world. Whenever you do something or are anywhere, remember that you are still the Christian that is, play, dis, that is placed there and is expected to display your faith. Whether you are doing what is perceived as Christian or the environment is not perceived as Christian. Mfundiswati, there is nothing canal. Therefore, as a Christian, wherever you are, you are representing Christ. Uh, why, why we do the things that we do? Um, I think I say this, maybe let me make, let me not shun the example that I want to make. I, I do a, a bit of going to many places, uh, where you will find that there will be receptions, babe, babe mzilen. Kula ma receptions must figure ba basmuge lang ema kuto ama welcome drinks. Ma ufiga kula ma welcome drinks avamsa ge kuba spiced la ma la o ma welcome drinks. And always bayang buga la la ba lam vagwen lam vagwami. I don't know if it's out of expectation or they are just fascinated by. I am always asking, is it a non-alcoholic drink? It, it, to me, it's just a question that I must ask because I know I don't take alcoholic drinks, you know. But to the people that are behind, it's fascinating to them that it's a reception, Toby, of course, you know. It, it, most of the drinks, yeah, if, if, if not all of them, they are going to be, to be alcoholic drinks. But for me, it's important to ask because I know that I am a person that does not take uh, those drinks. So I will, I will choose, I will ask why, whether there is alcohol or not so that I may know whether, whether to take that drink as beautiful, as enticing as it looks or not. And then I am shown where I can get what I prefer. So why we do the things we do is it also becomes our reputation. Um, what we do and who we do the things that we do with is also very important for our reputation, Bazalwane. And then, um, our adornment should be of substance, you know? It should be of substance, not just frills, uh, but gube a substance, Bazalwane, not a, de not a mere decoration. It should be of quality and not just a, a show off, like I have said. Um, I also say this because I think my, my, my sister that came before me uh, attested to certain situations that we come across in this journey of life and also our Christian walk, that there are many things that will happen as we, as we walk along. And people look and on how you act, you react, you, you interact as those uh, phases of life come to you. I am always reminded of how when I went through a situation that I thought as the time was the most difficult or the most painful uh, phase in my life, I used to hear a lot of people say, hey, no go guaksi tagu kolo atobi. I could have had many interpretations to this. I could have also, um, you know, just uh, went along with the sympathy that it came with but for me, these words were very, very encouraging. They were telling me that they were displaying Christ in those moments. And I felt that it is important as I continue the journey of life. Um, Umfunis used to say that it is not a crisis, at least until, uh, unless somebody has died. So I know that it may have been difficult situations, but I knew it was not a crisis because nobody had died. And I was encouraged by the words that I got along the way, and to me that meant that 
I am making an effort towards adorning my faith, I am displaying that I am of the Christian faith when very, very painful and difficult situations come in my life because it is now showing who I am and where I belong in terms of my faith. And then adornment should, be, should also be for showing up when we are needed or when we are expected, Bazalwan. Like I have said that when Mfundisi went through this, cal this calibration, for me, among other things, it was an emphasis. It was a reminder and an emphasis of a, of a, a, a specific calling that I know that my God uh, called me to in my neighborhood. And I pray that he helps me as I execute that because I, I feel that it is for the benefit of the kingdom of God. Uh, in conclusion, Bazalwane, how then um, this challenges me, it tells me that uh, as we went through all of this calibration, how well I abide to all of this other calibration indicates my efforts towards the adornment of my faith. It is not about just this calibration, and I think I'm at a victory point, but it is when I, I abide to all of this calibration that my spirit level is on that le desired level that I want it to be at. And then allow me also in conclusion to read the other verse that was referenced in this calibration. It is uh, 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 10 to 11 and it reads therefore brethren be even more diligent to make your call and election sure for if you do these things you will never stumble for for so an entrance will be supplied to you abundantly into the everlasting kingdom of our lord and savior uh, there is a song that I love in vernacular. It says, And this verse resonates with that song that I love. It is all about getting to heaven, Bazalwane. Because we will have done what was expected of us to represent the kingdom of God as we live in this world. Amen.